riders on one route in Greater Manchester are calling for more police protection after a spate of attacks. Ten cyclists have had their bikes stolen from them on the Fallowfield Loop, and that's just in the last month. Well, tonight, hundreds are there to protest riding along the route to the police station. One of them is Martin Lewis. He was beaten up by a gang of bike thieves. He's been telling our correspondent, Elaine Wilcox, it's left him too scared to go back alone. Described it like a pack of hyenas uh, sitting about me, uh, yeah, kicking me, stamping me, and uh, and punching me in the head. Martin Lewis is recovering from cancer and started cycling to build up his fitness and raise money for the Christie Hospital. He was on one of Manchester's only traffic-free routes when a gang of six pulled him off his bike and sold it for forty pounds. I tried to fight back a little bit, uh, but they overpowered me and, and knocked me to the ground. And, uh, and then I thought, I, I need to try and survive, really. Uh, so I, uh, I let them have the bike uh, to leave me alone. Just minutes before Martin was thrown off his bike and viciously assaulted here, a female cyclist was attacked on the other side of this bridge. She called police but was told no one could attend. And then a third cyclist was attacked here that night. Greater Manchester Police say with less resourcing, they have to prioritise and can't attend every report of crime. There have been 10 robberies on the Fallowfield Loop since September. I'm amazed to find out that there's been 10 in such a short period of time uh, and nothing's really happened. So, yeah, I think uh, cyclists need better support. Will this attack make you think twice about getting on your bike. I'm a fairly new cyclist and uh, what I've been through could put you off for life. Martin wants to keep cycling but won't come back here alone until the bike gangs are stopped. Elaine Wilcox, ITV News, Fallowfield. Yeah, some worrying news for cyclists there. Elaine is on the Fallowfield loop for us right now. Elaine, what's happening there this evening? Well, Tony, you can see the strength of feeling tonight. Hundreds of cyclists have come here. Some have already set off on the route and they are demanding greater protection from the police and a response from the police when they are attacked. We've also got an Olympic gold medal winning cyclist here tonight as well, showing some sport. We'll speak to Callum in just a second. But, Sean Lambert, you were attacked just minutes before Martin and you were astounded by the police's response. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I was attacked, um, I, I think possibly by the same people who attacked Martin. I managed to get away with my bike, immediately dialed 999 and told the police what had happened. And actually, I said to them, I'm really worried about the next person who comes along because I know the guys who did this are still in the same place. I was very upset to find out later that, that Martin had been attacked. And then to hear that there were 10 others in this short stretch. The police say they are now investigating these crimes, but this should be a very pleasurable cycle. It's a designated route. Yeah, do you know what? This is great um, piece of cycling infrastructure. It's off-road, it's um, through pleasant areas. In fact, when I was attacked, it was because I'd stopped to take a photo of um, some industrial heritage. So, uh, you know, I have sympathy with the police having a lack of resource, but do you, you you know, when it's people being physically attacked, uh, uh, you know, that many incidents within a six-week period, I really feel that if it was drivers being attacked for their cars after the second or third incident, something would be done. OK, well, Callum, your success on the track has encouraged most of us to get out on our bikes. And, um, you know, what, what's your message? What needs to happen here? I guess our mantra and British Cycling's mantra is to get more people on bikes, get more people active. Like, we all know the benefits of cycling, you know, the benefits to the NHS, benefits to the environment, uh, the benefits in reducing congestion. Um, and it's such a shame when people, I guess, are discouraged by, by acts like this, by a, a small number of people. Um, I guess what we're calling for is just for the police to take it seriously. Um, you made a great comparison about if, if drivers were attacked out of their cars, and I think you're 100% right. We need to get behind these cyclists. It's not acceptable and the police should be taking it seriously. And is it more lighting? Is it CCTV? What else needs to happen if more of us are going to feel safe? Well, I think what we have here is a really safe track. It, it's safe in the spec that you don't have any traffic. You can come down here with your kids, with your family, go running, go jogging, whatever you want. It's a fantastic resource, but it really needs to be policed properly so people feel safe here. Well, that is the message here tonight. Thank you for talking to us. And the cyclists say they will keep on protesting until these attacks stop. Elaine in Fallowfield, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you. A belated cheer from the 
protesters there. Okay, still to